Hey y'all, Thane Z here, and I'm back with another video. I didn't think I was going to be able to put one up this soon, um, and I didn't know that it was going to be a top 5 villain. I had thought about doing this one yesterday, and just kind of brushed it off, but this morning I woke up and someone had asked me on one of my videos to do a top 5 villains video. So, <laughs> considering that I already had that in mind, I just thought I'd go ahead and do it. But yeah, as I said, this is top right corner, top five villains. Of course, this is just my opinion in the game, not like comic series, just in the game. But let's jump into it. And here we have Hush. Um, otherwise known as Dr. Thomas or Tommy Elliot. He was a childhood friend of Bruce Wayne, um, but he was also a childhood sociopath. Um, Elliot tried to kill his parents so he could inherit their fortune when his plan failed due to partly the surgical skills of Bruce's father, Dr. Thomas Wayne. Elliot blamed Bruce. An incredibly skilled surgeon as an adult, Elliot planned an elaborate revenge scheme on Wayne. He disguised himself as the villain Hush, his face covered in bandages, but in the end was defeated and unmasked by the Dark Knight. But I do have a question for Hush, kind of important to me. What are those? What are... And here we have Catwoman. Now Catwoman has been one of my favorite super villains for throughout the franchise of Batman and DC Comics. Um, her, the original and mostly wide-known Catwoman, Selina Kyle, first appeared in Batman issue 1 in spring of 1940, in which she was known as the Cat. As an adversary of Batman, she was a whip-carrying burglar with a taste for high-stake thefts. This is not the actual skin that she has in the um, Arkham Knight. I changed it because the other one was kind of revealing. So. This is what I have now, and I do like the TV series Catwoman too, so that's a plus. And now for Red Hood. The Red Hood first appeared in February of 1951 in the story The Man Behind the Red Hood. Um, it was, however, later revealed that Jason Todd, which is a secret identity of Red Hood if you didn't know that, sorry for the spoiler, um, Indy had died at the hands of the Joker, but when Superboy Prime alters reality from the Paradise Dimension in which he is trapped, um, six months after Jason's death, um, he's restored to life and literally breaks out of his coffin um, with his bare hands and fingers and walked away from the graveyard. Now, he's not, he wasn't my favorite um, Robin at all, but I still really like him. I like the way his suit's done on here. Um, I like it in the comics a little bit better, but the suit on here, I just think looks really cool. Other than the back, other than the symbol, it kind of looks like it was done with a crown. And now for the clown prince of crime, the Joker. Now the Joker in his comic book appearances, um, the Joker is portrayed as a criminal mastermind, introduced as a psychopath with a warped, sadistic sense of humor. The character became a goofy prankster in the late 1950s. Um, before returning to his darker roots in the early 1970s, as Batman's nemesis, the Joker has been part of the superhero's defining stories, including murder of Jason Todd, the second Robin, and Batman's ward, um, and the par paralysis of one of Batman's allies, Barbara Gordon. The Joker has had various po possible origin stories during his decades of appearance. Um, the most common story involves him falling into a tank of chemical waste which bleaches his skin white, turns his hair green, and his lips bright red. The resulting disfigurement drives him insane. And last but definitely not least, giving as he is in the number one slot, Deathstroke. The Terminator first appeared in 1980 in the second issue of the book New Teen Titans. He was originally introduced as the Terminator, a mercenary who completely, or who, who was completing the terms of a contract undertaken by his son, but later evolved into a more bigger character in the DC franchise, which has even, he has even beaten Batman in hand-to-hand -hand combat. 
Um, he does have, I love the suit and everything. I don't understand why he has the ribbons on the back of his head because this is not a cloth or anything helmet, but you know. Um, I do love the way it looks, the carbon fiber and the orange and the sword. He does have a bow staff, a sword, and multiple weapons like with guns and everything. But he is such a good character throughout the entire And that is it, y'all. I hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry that it was kind of um, glitchy in some parts of the video. Um, I've gone through this a lot today. I had to restart the entire thing because it glitched out. And... That was really frustrating. But anyways, guys and gals, I hope you liked the video. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And give me ideas for new videos. Um, well, anyways, Thane Z here. And I will talk to you guys later.